Lovers Aren't Lovers, it's our craft sorceress. I am reorganizing my craft room and I'm getting shelving. So I just put everything from my shelf behind me um, and put it on my table. And I realized since I have everything out, I would love to make a little video and let all the beginners out there and even intermediate, I might have something to say that you haven't realized yet. Um, about some things that are my favorite some great colors and some um <clears throat> great varnishes and stuff like that so pbo studios this is my favorite color turquoise blue it's absolutely beautiful the other favorite of mine from pbo studios is the iridescent green yellow beautiful color Behind my Pebeo Studios, you'll see a small collection of golden. And the reason why there's a small collection is because of the price tag. Unfortunately, I just can't buy golden paints all the time, which I would love to. But so far, these are my favorite ones are right here. This one is turquoise phalo, beautiful color. And then I have the permanent, um, I think it's dark violet violet dark excuse me i also was looking for a periwinkle color and decided that this was close it's um golden's light aquamarine blue i have two others the green gold and the azo gold i think it's called let's pick it up yes nickel azo gold um can't wait to try those next sorry i'm dropping everything <laughs> next are artist loft this is my favorite color from artist loft it is metallic cobalt blue, so definitely get yourself some. I have my deco arts next that are coming here. One of my favorites is another blue color. It's their, I think it's deep sapphire. It's beautiful on any canvas. Absolutely love it. And then of course I have the 24 karat gold. I love 24 karat gold, but it does take over sometimes and I'm finding myself not using it as much, um, but it's always good to have. Their green, their emerald green is also very pretty. Um, I also have the satin enamels, white, of course. It looks great for cloud pours. I have another satin enamels, a different color. I haven't tried it yet, but um, I don't know. I have to figure out what I'm using that for. Here are my piggies, and my absolute favorite piggy is Enchantment. Let me show you. Oh, love it. It gives such a beautiful shine on the canvas. Definitely need to have. Um, here are some random paints. Amsterdam. My favorite is Sky Blue Light. Um, and of course I have Amsterdam Titanium White. There's Arteza Bordeaux Red, which is absolutely beautiful. I want some more Arteza paints. I'll be getting those soon. I have Montmartre paints. Uh, these are cheap paints. If you are looking for a cloud not cloud i'm sorry for um a pillow paint um and you don't want to use house paint i've noticed that their white actually works really well i put a little gel gloss in it uh, make it a little thicker and it does work really well um i was actually practicing it there's a little picture behind there um i am not a fan of their black um uh, lamp black really um it ruins everything i've tried so here the white from Artist Loft, their soft body works really well. And if you like Dutch pours and you find that your black eats your paints, try the soft body um, Artist Loft black. Um, I think it works really well and you'll have better results. Oh, look at This is from my first time I tried painting. It's already mixed Artist Loft. I still have one. <laughs> okay, on to the next thing are all of my creative inspirations. I really do like this paint. Um, it is cheap and it looks great on the canvas. Some of my favorite colors from Artist Loft are actually their metallics, the metallic gold and their bronze. Oh my gosh. It actually looks beautiful on the canvas. So FYI, if you need a good one and you don't have a lot of money, the Creative Inspirations is perfect. Then I have all my Montmartre paints. These are some of the first paints that I actually bought to mix with. Um, I think they were great for beginners. I still have some colors. I'll still grab one once in a while if I'm looking for that particular color or if I'm mixing something together. Um, so yeah, that's for my cheaper paints. 
Then on to, um, let's see, um, varnishes. I suck at varnish, but spray varnish, I'm good at. So, um, one of my favorites is the Rust-Oleum Universal Clear. It goes on so shiny and glossy. It's beautiful. I highly recommend it. Just watch out for the humidity that day. I live in Florida, so I have to think of these things. But my absolute favorite is by Montana. The Mont Montana Acrylic Varnish. Not the canvas varnish, but the acrylic varnish, which is right next to it. It's right here. Um, is actually my favorite. It puts such a beautiful gloss on the canvas. The one, one thing is, is just double check um, it on a, on a, like a practice canvas first, because I did get one bad spray can once. And instead of glossy, it turned it into like a gritty, sandy, mess and it was a little disappointing so just double check any spray varnish you get on like a sample painting okay i think that's it i hope i i said stuff that might help you make sense or some colors that you might want to try and um i hope you have a wonderful day